Good morning. This is lecture number four for the misdemeanor course. This is the last lecture uh, before the final examination. The final examination will take place next week. Uh, well, not necessarily next week, actually, but the final examination technically takes place in week number five. But because we have such a long break now, let me just tell you what the schedule is going to be for your final examination. And uh, it's just as indicated here. This is actually incorrect. 11 a.m. felonies. So what's going to happen is that you may take your written exam any time from today on until November the 4th. Um, the written exam consists of the material that it is included in your class manual, okay? And also it includes the California Judges Bench Guide Parts 1 and 2. Then, um, anytime now, if you click where it says Schedule Final Oral, if you do that right now, you'll have different times available to schedule your oral examination. I will test people for this class on November 5th, November 7th, and November 8th. Um, on November 5th, starts at 8.45. That's the sooner that we have, the earliest that we have available. And then we have November 7th and 8th, which begins at 6 o'clock, but there are many on the 7th. There are some taken already, and there are only two slots available. So I strongly suggest Although there is no other class that, well, maybe the, the misdemeanor class may, read, may uh, sign up for one of these courses or for one of these exams, that one of these slots. But I suggest that you reserve your time for the oral component hmm, of, the, uh, of this examination, of this course, actually. The oral component... Unlike the written that covers everything, the oral component will basically be California Judges Bench Guide Parts 1 and 2. And also keep in mind, in the written component, you could be tested on material that was discussed in previous courses. That's in the written component. You could get vocabulary, you can get, you know, there are a lot of different possibilities because if you already learned that material, then I expect you to know it. Now, the oral component, however, is going to be a simultaneous, of course, and it's going to be more like a California Judges Bench Guide Parts 1 and 2. Now, you will have access to your uh, course site until Tuesday, November 8th. So that means that now you're given basically almost four weeks or four weeks to prepare for your oral examination and to perhaps catch up with all the areas in your lab that you are still behind. So let's just take a look at it so that you know what you need to do during this uh, particular break. Um, all right, so here are the, the various practices. We have done Judges Bench Guide Part 1, and we have also done Judges Bench Guide Part 2, or we are in the process of, you're in the process of learning those two. Those two are critical by November 5th okay a month from now so you need to know those and what I mean when I say you need to know those what I'm actually saying is that you need to be able to interpret those at the speeds at which they are being played here in the lab then you should attack the advisement of rights and there are two advisement of rights week number two which this basically is nothing else than um, a lecture but it doesn't have the it doesn't have the slides. It's a, it's a presentation. It's a PowerPoint presentation without slides. But you'll be able to see, you know, some of the keywords and stuff. So week number two is more like a lecture for you. And it's going to go over some of the key, um, key terms that are used in the advisement of rights week number four. So again, you need to know Judges Bench Guide Part 1 and 2. And then during this break, Advisement of Rights in week number two and week number four, as well as change of plea in week number four. Change of plea is very similar to Judges Bench Guide Part 2. So these two are very, very similar. And there is not going to be any type of script for this necessarily. The Advisement of Rights 
And then week number four, it's going to have a script which you may be able to download. So you work with it as you, as you usually work with all these practices that come with a translated script. So um, that's pretty much the material. So what are you supposed to then do during this long break that you have before you take your final examination? Very simple. Make sure you know Judges Bench Guide Part 1 and Part 2. Um, and you can interpret at the speed of, in the lab. Make sure you know your advisement of rights from week number four. You want to watch the video or the lecture week number two to help you that you can do as well. And make sure you know your change of plea in week number four, which there is no script for change of plea. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually there is a change of plea script. Uh, actually, it's not a practice. It's actually uh, a lecture very important lecture. So you can come here to, to where it says change of plea and you attend this lecture that it is important. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be similar to Judge's Bench Guide Part 2, but it has additional information. So Judge's Bench Guide Part 1, Judge's Bench Guide Part 2, Advisement of Rights under Week 2, Advisement of Rights under Week 4. Remember, Week 2 is a lecture and Week number 4, Change of Plea, attend that lecture. If you are in that, if you can do all that by November 5th, you will do so well in the next course and we can get into more stuff there that is a little bit more advanced because you have a unique opportunity compared to prior quarters and that is that this class really is giving you four weeks to catch up. In the past you only had one week to catch up and you would start with the next course. So this is a great, great opportunity because this class, as you probably noticed, really requires more than just, you know, four weeks or five weeks. So uh, finally, or just to summarize, the written exam is available anytime. You can take it next week if you like, as it is a schedule in your class. Uh, schedule that means on Saturday 11 a.m. you come and take the written exam is three hours or you can do it anytime from now until November 4th so that you have your Saturday off you don't have to, take, to attend any class or anything it has already been uploaded meaning that it is waiting for you to to access it to access all you got to do is click where it says take written exam um, actually, it will be uploaded at 2 o'clock. I forgot about that. So, take written exam. That's all you got to do. Uh, and uh, it's not. It's going to be available after this class is over, okay? And and once you, once you do that, then you just take a written exam. Remember not to click on the back button for the browser because that may kick you out. And if you, the system kicks you out, you can always come back and continue where you finish or where you were kicked out. Okay, no need to start all over again. Uh, schedule your uh, final examination oral today. Okay, there are many days available and times. And then uh, take that final exam, which will be November 5th or November 7th or 8th, depending which time you, and date you pick. And then after you've done that, then I will give you the, the date of that final exam or one-on-one. -on -one. I'll give you the score for the oral. I'll give you the score for the written. And then I'll send you a report card. And then the next course begins on November 12th at 11 a.m. So you technically will get your all your report cards and everything by November the 9th. Okay? Any questions from any of you? Actually, I have to access to be able to... See if there is any questions. Let me see if there is any. Oh, there is plenty of material here. Can you go back for the while so I can write my notes, please? Yes, that I guess this is what you're referring. When you click on the three little dots, is the speed normal? I don't know what you mean by the three little dots. Is the speed normal? When you click where on those three little nuts. Okay, when you click on the 
three little dots is the speed normal. I guess the speed in here. You know, I'm not sure what you're referring to, but the speed in the lab of those practices is, is substantially fast. It's very fast. So Manuel in the lab, yeah, now that's the normal speed. Uh, if you click on the three dots, let me see if I can find one of those. See what you're talking about. Oh, these three little dots. Okay, let's see what, the, what it gives you. Playback speed. It's normal, yes, yes. If you, if you want to play it as lower, then you put 0.5. If you want to play it even faster, it's 1.5. This, this one has that capability, this system. Before, we didn't have that. So you could technically lower it if you want. You can even do a 0.25, which I don't know what that would sound like. Let me take a look at this and see what it is. Let me see. Let me just hear. Now I'm curious. It's probably very slow. Oh, let's see. I'm going to remove this heavy monitor. Let me see. No, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, so maybe the lowest, lowest one that you can actually play it is 0.75. Um, because if you go 0 0.5 or 0 0.25, it really is slow. You won't be able to interpret that. Okay, so Manuela re registered for final exam on November 7th, which is perfectly fine. And uh, I'm, let me take a look and see, we still have many different options. I mean, the, perhaps the most uh, suitable one for you will be on, on Saturday during the class time, but uh, it, it's up to you, okay? So you, you, you do have a really good, you know, it, 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 this is working out fairly well for you in terms of getting ready for the next class, because <clears throat> if you can, if you somehow can, uh, can accomplish this, and you should be able to because you have four weeks. In other words, if you know your California Judges Bench Guide Part 1 and 2, your Advisement of Rights, and attend the Change of Plea Lecture, you're already ahead of the game. So uh, when you start the next course, which is the felony course, which is way easier than this one, uh, then you can dedicate more time to kind of fine-tune, get ready all the simultaneous and consecutive, and it will be just ideal. It's just ideal. So you, you're lucky from that from that regard. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, usually on lecture number four, we do kind of a final review of the class. And I will be playing different practices and monitoring you. So usually at the beginning, I don't monitor you the first 20, 30 minutes. But I'm going to open... The monitoring session right now for anybody who would like to be monitored all you would have to do is click where it says um, monitor uh, and that way you will be able to um, uh, you will be able to uh, be in line be in the waiting room until I actually uh, call you to uh, to be monitored so we're gonna do a general practice it the practices that we do today will be similar to what one would expect in the final examination, the one-on-one -on -one final. Although the one-on-one -on -one final is specifically concentrates on the um, California Judges Bench Guide Part 1 and 2. Uh, we're going to also today begin with a new different practice that we haven't done before. Um, but it's kind of a, of a general practice of everything that we have studied from the very first beginning, from day one, okay? From the, not from this course only, but from the very first beginning of this program. So we'll do a general practice of it, then um, also from this course, and, um, and then we'll look, we will look into um, a new material that it is similar to Judges Bench Guide Part 2, but it actually takes into consideration that different judges have different way of saying the same thing. 
So it's similar to that, but there is a variation. So if you know your vocabulary well from Judges Bench Guide Part 2, you'll be able to transfer this. But I will start playing, and then I'll give you a link for you to download the script, which is also translated in case you want to work on it. So having said that, let's just do lots of practice. And I'll be, if you want to be monitored, please go ahead and click on the monitoring session. Uh, and uh, how long is the final oral? It's 15 minutes. So no, no big deal. So um, let's start working. This is going to be a good, good um, review of everything. All right. So you'll find some practice is very easy. Other ones are going to be at the level of this class, and other ones will be a little bit harder. So let's begin with that now. Here we go, simultaneously.